Oh man. Forgot to put earrings in. God dang it. Alright. That's that's much better. Okay. What is up guys? How the hell are you? Come here! This is the Taruk Show. Just kidding, it's not the Taruk Show. I'm Tyler Nolan, and this is my channel. Hey, baby girl. How are you? Don't bite me. This is Taruk. I don't know if you guys watched the video prior to this one. It was her sex reveal, or her gender reveal, whatever you want to call it. I know. You're a girl now. It's crazy. It's crazy. You're a girl. Still super weird. Everything is her this, she that. Strange. You've been my little dude. You've been my little dude for a year and a half. And now you're a girl. Hey. So crazy right now. Mornings are wild. You just want to play. You just want to play. You're crazy. You just want to play. You just want to play. And be crazy. You want to tell everybody what we're doing today? You want to tell them? No? So, got a surprise for you guys. Here's a little info of what I've been doing for the last few days. So, I've been looking for a new bird. Taruk needs a friend. Now that I know that she's a girl. I've had a bunch of birds before. I want to have a bird friend for her. Oh, damn, look at that. Oh, man, I wish you guys could see this. My backyard right now. There's two cardinals outside. Man, cardinals are, cardinals are so cool. Anyways, so... I need to get Taruk a friend. And the other day, I've been, I've been looking around at a lot of different birds. I really wanted a toucan. So I was looking at breeders, blah, 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 this and that, reading up on them, studying stuff about toucans, talking to people that have had toucans in the past, seeing what their experiences are with them. Um, and honestly, it hasn't been very good, <laughs> to be honest. So I asked my buddy Ryan, he knows a lot about birds. His mom um, owns a place called Brenda's Birds in Delray, where we're gonna go today. I'm gonna show you guys. I've been going there for the last few days because they have a couple Keelbill toucans, okay? Which are super cute birds. They're awesome. <coughs> what are you hiding behind my head? Oh, there you are. They're really cool birds, really pretty birds. But, the more I find out that they're just not good pets. They don't make, they're not, they're not supposed to be in captivity, really. It's just one of those birds that has such a crazy diet and crazy needs with their water, their caging, their everything. That it's just like, it's almost like not worth having. It's not fair for the animal. And I felt bad though. I was like, damn, well, Brenda still has these birds at the store and if I don't get them, then where are they gonna go? They're gonna go to some other unfit place, which would suck and it was eating me up. So I was like, damn, maybe I'll just do that. But the more I think about it, the more I talk to people about it, the more I talk to other bird keepers about it, breeders and stuff, I just, I've come to realize that it's not a good idea. So I'm not going to do the toucan. I've been going over to Brenda's birds for the last three days in a row since I put out that other video and playing with the birds, trying to see which one I like. Like macaws want to step up on you. They want to hang out with you. They want to be with you. They're affectionate. They're awesome birds. But these toucans reminded me a lot of this pied crow that I used to have named Romeo. Now Romeo was a pied crow. He just, it was, it's a different kind of animal, you know? It, it's more of a bird of prey. Like, they don't, they're not affectionate. They don't want to hang out with you. It's just not like that. It's a totally different relationship. So, not going to do that. But, Brenda has a couple baby macaws. And I'm obsessed with, with Hey, don't bite my ears. 
I'm obsessed with baby McCullers. That's all my, in my, my Instagram feed is just like butts, tattoos, uh. and birds, and snakes, every now and then. So, yeah, I love them. Wait till you see <laughs> how cute these little macaws are. She's got two of them. She's got a lot of baby birds, but a bunch of them are already weaned uh. and perching and flying. She's clipped her wings since the bird store. I'm not gonna do that. She has these two others. One's a hybrid, uh, Millie Gold. It's a Millie Gold crossed with the Catalina. And then there's another baby macaw that's a baby blue and gold. And they're so adorable. So we're going to go down to Brennan's Birds today. We're going to check the store out. Um, a couple days ago, I started making a vlog about the toucans and stuff. Obviously, I'm not... I'm not going to get the toucan, so I'm not really even going to use that footage, but maybe I'll put some footage in this video for you guys to see from the other day with my, my girlfriend. She's she's busy today. She's getting her hair done and a bunch of other girly stuff, so she's not around. We'll go there. There's a place called the Strawberry Patch next door. They have a bird aviary back there. Super cool place. They have toucans, adult toucans there also. So we're going to go check that out today. We're going to go try to find you a friend. Maybe we can find you a boyfriend, Tarouk. You want a boyfriend? Huh? Or a girlfriend? Whatever, I don't care. You can do whatever you want. You're so cute. Get all the animals situated. I gotta go, Ronnie. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna go get another bird. Okay? Uh. Hi. Dude, I, I'm, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Even worse, it's a Tyler in a bird store. Crazy. Dude, so excited. Wait until you see how cute these birds are. And don't give me for don't buy birds, adopt them, whatever. Hey, look, they're at a store. They're going to be sold to somebody. These birds need homes just as much as adopted birds do. You know what I mean? Or surrendered birds, whatever. But you guys obviously know the last bird I tried to adopt or help, Phoenix, just wasn't having it. And now Phoenix is living his best life, man. He's over at Mikey's house. He's killing it. He's got a girlfriend. He's got two girlfriends. He's killing it. Gets fed all day. He's he's living it. Lucky bird. So that just didn't work out. I'm trying to be very careful about the next bird that I pick because, dude, birds are huge commitments. Like, this bird is going to be with me for, dude, forever. If I get another macaw, which I am. Dude, macaws live forever. The bird's going to outlive me probably. I got to make sure I have, like, a kid or something soon so I can give this give the birds to my kid, you know? You gotta have a backup plan. So I gotta be very careful. This is why I'm not doing the toucan. It's just not, it doesn't work out. The macaws, the macaws can stay on perches and they can hang out and I can bring them to work, stuff like that, totally fine. Toucans have to fly all the time. They have to eat every like 15 minutes. Their metabolisms are super fast. It's not looking like the right bird. So I'm making the smart decision to not do that. And I'm so excited about getting a baby macaw. Because, dude, raising Tarouk has just been, like, it was one of the coolest things I've ever done. Like, having a baby bird with just all pin feathers, hand-feeding him every day. He's got to go with you 24-7 everywhere. Big commitment. It's like having a baby. It's so rewarding, though. Like, having a baby bird and watch. It's like having, it's like raising a kid. Watching him take his first steps. Learn how to perch. Learn how to fly. Dude, it's like, I remember it with Tarouk. It was the best. I can't wait. I'm so excited about this. You guys will be able to be there for it and see the whole thing happen. And I wasn't able to do that with Tarouk. Tarouk I've had for a year and a half. I just started this YouTube thing. So now I'm going to show you guys how to take care of a baby bird. How much work it is. Dude, it's dedication. It's like having a kid. Tarouk is like having a two-year-old for the rest of my life. Like... Your kids are gonna grow up, they're gonna learn to wipe their own butts, they're gonna put their shoes on, they're gonna get ready for school, they're gonna learn how to drive a car, they're gonna get a job, they're gonna move out of your house, you know what I mean? Like, kids are pr kids are probably easier. Dude, a, a bird is having a two-year-old for the rest of your life. So you gotta think about that. All right, we're on, enough of me. Rambling on, sick of hearing myself talk also. I'm sorry, guys, I'll give you some birds in a second. Like, uh, like, uh, be thrown around like a football. 
If I want to pick the keys up without my hand, I can use rubber. <laughs> Dude, he like does it right here. <laughs> How old is he? He's like 25, 25. Anywhere from 25 to 30. I've had him for 15 years. Wow. A little severe macaw. What happened to his eyes? About 10 years ago, he was sitting next to me in my truck. We stopped at a gas station. I got out, usually he would wait in the seat. Well, he decided to run after me, which he's never done. And I pulled the door out of his head. Yeah, he almost died. Remember we were talking about his high last time we were here? Check out this little RSI. Look how cute these little babies are. Trying to figure out how to tell if they're boy or girl. Yeah, um, I sent a pic I sent a bunch of pictures to my friend yesterday, and he said that they both kind of look like boys, just really? the, the shape of their beak and the size of their beaks. The males um, are probably larger, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. So that's what he the said. Other thing I don't know about really is how long they live. Um, in in the wild, they live for about thirty years, and then in captivity. It's around 20, 20 yeah. but their diet is like so particular, like you can yeah. only give them certain kind of food. Uh -huh. um, because if it's anything high in iron, yeah. they get this, uh, it's like a, I forget what that is called, it's like some iron deficiency. It's like too much iron, it kills them like right away. Really? So a lot of them in captivity, a lot of them are like five to eight years. Yeah. See, I, I figured that for some reason. You have to be super careful. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's good to know, though. Jeez. Hey. Yeah. What are you doing? Come here. Come on. So I think he's a boy. I think I like his personality better, honestly. You got this. 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 You He's like looking for places to fall. Alright guys, so check this out. Hi oh, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing, little baby? Gosh, so cute. This is really hard. I don't know which one to get. You're both so cute. What do I do? What do I do? I don't even know. Look how adorable these guys are. Oh my god. So crazy. What do you guys think I should do? Decisions, decisions. I got pooped all over.
All right. God, that place is so dangerous to be in. Man, I just want all the birds all the time. It sucks. Whatever. I can't wait to get back from Denver already. I haven't even left for Denver. I can't wait to get back to pick up the baby. We're sexing both of them. So it's a toss up between the two babies. One is a blue and gold and the other is a hybrid. The hybrid is a Millie Gold and a Harlequin cross that Brenda actually bred herself. And she actually has a picture of one that she hatched out a year ago and she still has it at her house. She's still keeping the bird. Um, it's a female. I'll post these pictures right here for you. Super cute bird. Apparently this other Harle this other hybrid here has a lot of yellow on it. It's going to be a way prettier bird. Another thing is I've decided that I'm going to move for sure. I mean, I love my house. Don't get me wrong. I love East Boca. Like, I love it here. It's beautiful. It's palm trees, whatever. I'm still going to move in South Florida. Obviously, I'm not moving too far. I'm going to try to move closer to my shop. But I'm going to try to get a house now that has less neighbors around it. There's no noise violations in the city. And I want to move somewhere that I can build a huge aviary outside for my birds. Like, it's a big, it's a big thing to me. Like, I need... Not only do I need to be comfortable where I live, but my animals need to be comfortable also. So I don't want to keep my birds inside all the time. I want to be able to have a huge backyard that's enclosed in. I can just walk outside and boom, let my birds fly around in the backyard just like I let my dog out every day. You know, let her run, walk around, give her walks. Same thing, man. It's just not, I don't like, first off, I don't agree in clipping your bird's wings. Second off, they need to fly, man. It's pointless having a bird and not letting them fly. It's cruel. So, stay tuned. I'm going to go check out the birds again tomorrow before I go to the Denver convention. If you guys are around Denver, stop by. Say what's up. I'm going to have, uh, well, this isn't a Taruk shirt, but I'm going to have Taruk shirts there for sale. They're only 20 bucks. Come by, pick up a shirt, take a picture. It's going to be fun. So, let me know if you guys want to see a little vlog about that, too. I was thinking about vlogging some tattoos that I'm doing at the Denver convention. But, you know, those videos go however. So a lot of people are following me for the animal stuff, not really tattoos. But I'm going to vlog everything. I want to say a huge thank you to all my new subscribers. You guys make this work. I know it's annoying sometimes when my videos are playing ads and stuff. But, yo, this is a lot of work. Like taking time out of my day, making these filming stuff, editing, and doing all this, that. Dude, it is a lot of work. So that is what you guys are contributing for. Every time you guys watch my videos, all you guys are doing is help me take care of my animals. So I really appreciate that. That means everything to me. You guys are awesome. So take care. Till next time. Hope you guys have a great day.